Hi guys. So, if you're like me, you have over time become invested in way too many shows. So much so that you probably can't list all of them off the top of your head. And one of the big things about these shows is they decide that the best way to boost ratings is to kill off your favorite characters. So, this week, I'm going to tell you about my top 10 character deaths that I have not been able to get over. We're going to start off in the Harry Potter fandom. Number one, Dobby. They killed him off so suddenly, and it was something so unexpected that I literally had to stop reading, take a minute, then go back and reread that last paragraph just to make sure that it had actually happened and not just me playing a trick on myself. And then when I realized that it actually happened, I had to take another break. I didn't want to believe it. Two, Sirius Black. Another really sudden death. JK really likes to play with us like this. Haha, <laughs> JK. Sirius, I feel like he was one of the characters that didn't need to die. I mean, it was a building point for Harry. And it was character development for Harry, but I really wanted Sirius to live. I wanted Harry to go and live with Sirius. And later on, I'm just like, no. This entire series is about Harry having a shitty life. They're not going to give him Sirius. Are you serious? Three. The big one. Fred Weasley. I cried. Fred was that one character I'm just like, you didn't. Oh no, 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 no. I went back and just like Dobby, I reread the chapter and then I cried again. Why was that necessary? Why? Moving into a different fandom, The Walking Dead. Just the name of the show makes you think characters are going to die. But these are two characters that it just happened way too soon, and I was not expecting it. I didn't have time to process. One, Merle Dixon. Merle Dixon is an ass. He's a dick. And for two seasons, you thought he was dead. We had no sign of him, and then it turns out he's in Woodbury. They're like, oh, he's alive. He's going to be a main character from now on, again. But no, he goes and gets into a fight, and it's the season finale, so you're like, by some miracle, he's going to walk out of there. Granted, he's going to be hurt, but he'll be alive. No. Daryl has to go and find his brother as a walker. I think I'm just not willing to accept this because of what it did to Daryl. And then there's T-Dog. Being bitten by a walker is a death sentence unless you can somehow manage to cut off the limb like they did with Herschel. They couldn't really do that with T-Dog because he was bitten on the shoulder. So that entire thing happened within a span of maybe 10 seconds. T-Dog was bitten. You hear Carol scream out, which just breaks your heart. And then T-Dog continues fighting, even though now he knows he's going to die. Moving into the Hunger Games. Finnick fucking oh dare. I still don't believe that happened. I've only read Mockingjay twice and the second time I read it it caught me off guard again because I didn't bother to reread that chapter I just kept going. So I'm just like maybe he didn't really die. No. And on to Marvel. Frigga. I didn't see Thor 2 until it came out on DVD and my friend had told me there was a character death that I was not going to like, which just scared me because I had to wait three months to watch it. So the entire time, like, oh no, 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 not Loki, not Loki, not Loki. No. Worse. Frigga, you should have made another illusion of yourself. Torchwood. Yanto Jones. Yanto and Jack were my OTP before I found Troiler. So, having to watch Yanto die along with Jack and knowing Jack would come back because he's immortal, 
made me cry when I was watching it. My roommate was giving me weird looks. He's like, why are you crying? I'm like, Yancho! <laughs> my babies. On Tumblr, Supernatural has a gift for everything. And in this video, they had to be included. They have a death for everything. Kevin Tran. It was a recent death. Knowing Supernatural, they are going to find a way to bring him back at some point. They already found a way to bring him back as a ghost for an episode. But for now, Kevin's still dead. He was burned from the inside out by fucking Gadriel. Kevin was one of my favorite characters because he wasn't originally a hunter. He was thrown into this life and accepted it and became a badass. If you guys watch Teen Wolf and you haven't seen the most recent couple of episodes, stop watching now because this is going to have some spoilers. Allison Argent. For the entire second part of the season, they were saying, one will fall. And I'm just like, which one? Are they joking? Are they just going to be like, ha, they tripped and fell. That's what we meant. Not, we're going to kill off one of the strongest female characters on television. And I get that Crystal Reed was 30 years old playing 17 year old girl and she just wanted, it was her choice to leave. But they could have had Allison live and then leave at the end of the season to go do something else. They could have had the Argents leave town. They could have let Allison live. She didn't have to die. And for the top character death that I'm still not over, this is probably the one that I experienced first. Leslie Burke. If you don't know who Leslie Burke is, she is a character from the book and the movie Bridge to Terabithia. She befriended the main character, made him happy when his life sucked, and then one day she felt excluded and went to Terabithia and drowned. I hadn't read the book first. I think I was 12 when this movie came out, and my dad's like, let's go see it. It looks like a great movie. I gave him the biggest death glare when they said that Leslie had drowned. And he just looked shocked, like, I am sorry for bringing my 12-year-old daughter to this movie, getting her invested in these wonderfully written characters, and then watching one of them die. It's been, what, nearly 10 years, and I still don't want to believe that Leslie died. She's not dead. So, if you guys liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and make sure to subscribe down there. And I'll leave all my social media links in the down bar below. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.